blood tests, a complete blood count. Cancer patients often have blood tests. The following information will help you to understand one common blood test and how the test results may be used to plan your care. By having a sample of your blood tested, the doctor can check your overall health and track any changes in your blood test results. Changes in your blood tests can be from your type of cancer, cancer treatments, certain medicines, or from other health problems other than cancer. You may want to read your blood test results. When you look at the report, you will see numbers that show a range for a normal test result. This range of numbers can vary from lab to lab. Results may have the letter H, which means the result is higher than the normal range, or L for lower than the normal range. Your doctor or a member of your healthcare team will talk with you about your blood test results. The type of blood test your doctor orders will depend on your type of cancer and your medical history. We will now review information about a complete blood count, which is sometimes called a CBC. This is a common blood test for cancer patients. A complete blood count shows the number of red blood cells, including hemoglobin and hematocrit, platelets and white blood cells. In some cases, the lab test will include a differential, which allows the doctors to see the different types of white blood cells in more detail. Let's review each of the different parts of the complete blood count. First, let's talk about the red blood cells. Red blood cells are important because they carry oxygen to your body's cells and tissues. The amount of red blood cells is different for men and women. If you have a high number of red blood cells, this could be a sign of dehydration. Dehydration happens when you do not have enough water or fluids in your body. A high red blood cell count can also be caused by other health conditions. If your red blood cell count is low, you may have anemia. Anemia can be caused by certain types of cancer, cancer treatments, such as radiation or chemotherapy, or blood loss. Other health conditions you have could also make your red blood cell results show up as either high or low. There are two different parts of your red blood cells that will be measured in a complete blood count. This includes hemoglobin and hematocrit. Hemoglobin is a protein found in the red blood cells and carries oxygen throughout the body. The hematocrit shows how much of the blood is made up of red blood cells. This test result is given as a percentage. In addition to red blood cells, the complete blood count also measures platelets. Platelets stick together to form blood clots to help stop bleeding. If your platelet results are high, it may be from your cancer, a side effect of certain medicines, or from other health conditions. A low platelet count may be caused by certain medicines, cancer treatments, bleeding disorders, or other health conditions. If you have low platelets, your healthcare team may say you have thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytopenia can increase your risk of bleeding or bruising. Your doctor may decide to change or hold your cancer treatment if your platelets get too low. The last part that is measured in a complete blood count is your white blood cells. White blood cells fight infection and destroy bacteria or germs that may enter your body. White blood cells are also called leukocytes. A high white blood cell count can be a sign of infection or caused by other health conditions. A low white blood cell count can be caused by some medicines, cancer or cancer treatments, or other health conditions you may have. Your doctor may order a white blood cell count differential. A differential gives more information about the types of white blood cells in your body. This is important because each kind of white blood cell has a different job that helps your body fight infection. There are five types of white blood cells. They are basophils, eosinophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, and neutrophils. The neutrophil is the white blood cell your doctor may talk to you about the most. The neutrophil will show on your test result as an absolute neutrophil count 
or ANC. This tells you the number of neutrophils in your blood. If the ANC is too low, you may have an increased risk for infection. Based on how low the neutrophil result is, your doctor may say you are neutropenic. Your doctor may decide to change or hold cancer treatments until future blood tests show this result is closer to a normal level. We hope this information has helped you to better understand why a complete blood count test is important to your care as a cancer patient. Write down any questions you might have for your healthcare team and bring them with you to each appointment. We are honored to care for you during your cancer treatment. Thank you for choosing the James.